This is where we're stranded. There's absolutely nobody for miles. Do you have any mobile signal on your phones? Excuse me, excuse me, we're stuck. Nestled at the foot of the mountain, the Hilton Garden Inn has something for everyone. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie, or like to pamper yourself, or simply like the local cuisine. One thing is for sure, the views here are spectacular. The hotel offers tons of activities for adrenaline junkies. And for those of us who want to pamper ourselves, there's a state-of-the-art spa. December and it's quite bitter outside but inside it's lovely and cozy and we're surrounded by stunning seasonal Christmas trees. Behind me is a Zephyr restaurant. There they serve locally sourced cuisine which is quite tasty. The reason I'm standing in the bar is so we can maintain some sort of social distancing ensuring everybody is safe. Zephyr sources and serves fresh local ingredients. And just minutes away, in the town of Conway, we came across delicious wood-fired pizzas, also sourcing local ingredients, including beetroot pestos and great orm goat's cheese. Absolutely delicious. What better way to see in the season? Wandering around Conway, you can see boats, the smallest house in the UK, and capture some amazing photos alongside the castle including star trails. And just across the water in Clendudno, there are magnificent sunsets to behold. I have it on good authority that Santa, Snowman and the reindeer wish you a very merry and safe Christmas. I'm Bethan. Um, we're at Adventure Park Snowdonia and our crazy staff members are in the freezing cold lagoon at the minute, absolutely shredding. I just came off the advanced wave, uh, it was very refreshing in the ocean, um, it's a little bit different, uh, you have to judge it by the, by the sea and by the conditions of the, uh, the, the, the ocean, uh, but in here you guarantee the wave all the time which is nice. We're a general adventure park so we've got all the surfing, paddle boarding, freshwater swim on the lagoon here. We've also got Adrenaline Indoors building where we have indoor climbing, outdoor climbing, a zip line, some um, quick flights, so like free falls from a building. We've got a pump track uh, as you enter the site. It really is a fantastic venue and uh, it's a great place to work. I've been surfing all my life and it's really good to have the contrast between surfing in the ocean and surfing here. Uh, it's a little bit more, it's far more consistent here. It's great for practicing manoeuvres and working on certain elements of your surfing and it complements when you go and surf out in the ocean then, so they work hand in hand really well together. We've got sun, sea and surf. We left the hotel this morning hoping to get to Obra Falls. There were two routes getting there. There was one scenic route that goes through Snowdonia National Park and one that goes around it. So we thought we'd be adventurous and go through the park. Now, little did we know that it was like really, it's freezing up here, really narrow roads, and unfortunately, tragedy struck. We hit a rock in the middle of the road we have a flat tyre, we are stuck in the middle of absolutely nowhere with no mobile reception and there's, no, there's nobody here. So we're just praying for a miracle and the fact that we get rescued soon. <laughs> um, yeah, the only thing around here are sheep. And this is not even, I'm not even making this up. You can't make this up. And when we say flat tyre, we mean, oh, but we don't even have a spare. And oh help! <laughs> okay, exhibit number one. This is our flat tire, and yeah, I mean I'm talking to sheep right now, literally. <laughs> I got the camera here and the sheep. Hi sheep. Look at the damage on the tire. Look at that. Oh my lord! Look at that. It's just sliced. Look another one. Another. It's just been what? 
It's just literally been sliced everywhere. Look at that. So there's plenty of electricity pylons, but not one mobile phone pylon here. We've got no signal, no bars, no way to contact anybody. Um, help? <laughs> the only thing I can think of is climbing that mountain and see it, seeing if there's civilization at the other side. Shame on Google Maps for making this an option when it doesn't even exist and the road just stops in the middle. Oh my God. So we walked down a meandering long path until we got some mobile signal. Yay! However, Farouk has been on the phone with Green Flag who are baffled because they don't know where we are for a pickup and a rescue. Um, we don't know where we are and they don't know where we are. So, okay, let's see what happens next. This is the only spot I get two bars of 4G in this entire area. And I'm not moving from this spot till the rescue guy turns up. <laughs> what can I say? There's plenty of time to make friends with these lovely sheep. <laughs> they are quite cute, I must admit. Look at them, I wonder who they belong to. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind like, um, like, yeah, stroking one or something, but yeah. No, I, I don't think they're that domesticated. <laughs> they might kick me. <laughs> so let's keep our distance. Um, oh, I can hear a stream or something. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this. So we're not going to go thirsty. We're, we're fresh drinking water for the mountain. We've got fresh drinking water from the mountain. We found out where we are, actually. The name of this place is called Bulich e Difon. And that's massively mispronounced, so my apologies to all the Welsh people who might hear this. Do you have any mobile signal on your phones? Excuse me. Excuse me, we're stuck. <laughs> they don't have a signal, but maybe they've got some snacks. Excuse me, darlings. My gorgeous people, I'm a little bit hungry up here. It's like, yeah, do you have any snacks? No? No signal and no snacks either. Never mind. The idea was to go to April Falls and enjoy these lovely Pier Marcoloni chocolates. But I think we might need the sustenance here. It's absolutely freezing. Um, we're stranded, literally, in the middle of nowhere. We've got no mobile signal, as I said before. Um, there's nobody here. Um, yeah, and I'm a little bit cold to bonnies. So chocolates. What a life save! <laughs> I'm just surveying the gas pipeline that goes from oh no, somewhere over there to over there. It's like two test posts, it's about three kilometres. I've got a welly full of water, so I've just come back and I've seen you here about, about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you still here, so. <laughs> Hi, on the hill is a lonely goat herder, but there's only sheep here. But anyway. <laughs> Luckily, none of the other cars that we've seen have been damaged, but you've got to be really careful with the potholes around here. They're huge and they're full of stones. Um, look at the size of that. That must be one, two, four foot easily. Alas, Green Flag took the wrong route and came up that way rather than that way. So they obviously couldn't get their truck up here. Um, so we're still stranded and um, the adventure continues. The recovery van couldn't make it up the hill we decided to leave the car and trek all the way back to the hotel before dark. It's nightfall now, we made it just in time. We need to rethink the plan tomorrow of how to recover the car. But in the meantime, we're going to have a lovely, luxurious dinner at the wonderful Hilton Hotel. I can't wait. Oh my God. The next day, a man with a van turned up and thankfully, he rescued us, allowing me to drive the car back down to civilization. <laughs>